uh, few stories uh, about uh, about using Python in startups. Uh, uh, it's it will be probably interesting because uh, most of us uh, hear about using Python in uh, web development, in uh, ML, uh, etc. But in uh, real time, uh, in real life uh, startups, uh, we have no uh, examples. Uh, as I want to say for beginning, uh, we have really a lot of startups uh, which was uh, created using pythons by uh, python sorry but uh, uh, but in fact when, uh, when we got a product or result from the startup nobody say which tools uh, was in this uh, system and let's start uh, my presentation or my uh, small talk about uh, 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 how we will use Python and uh, where we can, uh, can use it. And in uh, today's presentation, we will not speak about coding, uh, we will speak about hardware, usage of this hardware and uh, uh, Python cooperation with it. Uh, what is startup and, uh, and let's begin once upon a time. <laughs> you know uh, when this movie start um, what is startup startup it's small uh, uh, let's say it's small uh, companies uh, or even uh, could be even big company uh, no matter uh, it's small idea that beginning like proof of concept and uh, this idea uh, will fire or not most startup uh, succeed rate of most startup is near uh, 40 percent 40 percent uh, for 40 percent it's um, success uh, other uh, what we have it's, uh, 16 percent it's just uh, garbage or uh, or not succeed uh, in examples uh, or bad idea or bad uh, foundation or even bad marketing so it could be a lot of different uh, problems why startup uh, uh, disappear okay uh, startups this is business uh, that want to disrupt industries and change the world it's classical uh, most startups uh, could be found using uh, uh, get, get money for uh, its growing from investments, it could be uh, your personal investor uh, investments. It could be uh, investments from uh, different incubators like Hux, Michael, uh, which uh, incubator, incubator, incubator. Um, sorry, I don't know uh, how it uh, pro pro pronounced correctly because uh, in different locations, in different pronunciation. Okay, let's go next. Um, first of all, the first example, yeah, I want to uh, tell you about uh, startup in retail. Uh, this uh, lot of uh, these examples, what you see uh, from this um, uh, slide or this small startup about uh, retail. You could see in a uh, big market like uh, what do we have? No, well, post. It could be epicenter, uh, self checkout equipment, etc. We have uh, a lot of example. Then technology what what, uh, what uh, use it on this startup? Uh, now use it in different uh, uh, big markets. Uh, what interesting is this startup also classic. Uh, why collapse it? I will uh, tell you about this in the in the end of uh, uh, this uh, presentation. Okay, let's start. Uh, self checkout system. Uh, uh, this startup is really uh, is really popular. Uh, it, it, in the beginning, it was really popular in. Uh, Eastern European, Middle East, Asia market uh, because in, uh, in practice 
a lot of people uh, don't want to communicate with uh, any cashiers, with staff. They want to just take their uh, goods from market, pay it uh, quietly and go out. Uh, and uh, self-checkout equ uh, equipment uh, is uh, really uh, popular now. And uh, uh, even uh, for uh, big companies, it, uh, it saves money, a lot of money, uh, because you don't need to pay any money for uh, stuff. You just fully automatic system, uh, and, and that's all. Customization of uh, this equipment, you can paste any marketing logos, you can change uh, UI system, you can use different uh, equipment like printers, like uh, bank terminals, like uh, cameras also include a uh, lot of different uh, equipment. Next up. Uh, uh, like uh, how it works. Uh, in the ground of this, uh, sub checkout system, most uh, most checkout system. What you, what you can see, we have Python, uh, and uh, on this startup, uh, on this example, uh, we have two different uh, system. Uh, one system uh, uh, communicate with the database. Uh, communicate with equipment such as the money dispenser, uh, money recyclers, coin dispensers, printers, uh, uh, table waste, or even uh, zebra scanners. Mostly we use uh, scanners for, for goods. You know this one, this laser, when you take your good and just move uh, across uh, the table and you got deep uh, uh, th uh, this part of uh, code uh, fully manipulated by uh, Python, and we call this system like black box. Uh, a black box is everything that not uh, uh, visually accepted or available by uh, customer. On this uh, equipment, uh, we could connect scales, scanners, networking, everything was connected to networking, cash management, advertisement, any other equipment, no matter. Uh, communication between equipment and our Python, uh, let's say, uh, Python system, uh, our main program, it could be uh, RS, uh, RS or UART uh, port, it could be uh, LPT, USB, uh, even as a networking, no matter. Uh, uh, what Python could help us on this step to do? Um, I tell you an interesting story uh, that uh, every uh, equipment, no matter what you have, uh, have their own API, API, and we must connect, uh, somehow communicate with this API. Uh, if this app was written by, uh, on Python language or we have a library on Python, no matter, it's easy, just connect and write your code as, as you prefer. But uh, most of the equipment use different uh, programming languages. We, uh, we use uh, Python, we use C, C++, uh, Java, .NET. Uh, it was uh, really hard. Uh, how to uh, unify or uh, how to uh, found some universal uh, solution, uh, how to connect this equipment to our system. That's why uh, best solution we have Python. Uh, on Python, we create uh, some uh, uh, some part of code uh, that could be used for different uh, uh, stuff. And Python, uh, exactly um, uh, can work with uh, uh, different languages. Uh, like example, uh, most uh, bank terminals, uh, what we uh, have in uh, Middle East, uh, was written uh, using uh, Java. That's why if we need to cooperate or send to bank terminal uh, some information about, uh, please take this money, 
uh, and uh, saying uh, what you got, uh, we communicate using Python. Python run uh, some separate pipeline, uh, and in this pipeline, uh, start communication with uh, uh, bank terminal. In Ukraine, uh, the same bank terminal, what you could see everything, it, it uh, communicate uh, using uh, Dupos uh, library. Dupos library, it's like um, a re really old library. Uh, it was created only for Ukrainian market and in, it's available only in the uh, Ukrainian market. And uh, in, Euro, in European market, we have fully different libraries uh, that was created in uh, uh, other languages, programming languages, no matter. Uh, in this case, Python is extremely uh, useful for us. Okay, let's go uh, next. Uh, we talk about black box system. Uh, also, black box system with uh, Python core, uh, also manipulate firewall, remove control, switching, routing, etc. And if you look in, uh, if you remember previous slide, we have uh, a user interface system. When user click uh, his goods or uh, communicate with his equipment. Uh, about this communication, it's fully uh, responsible uh, system that's called Red, Redbox. It's different, let's say, uh, different system fully. It's different uh, PC or with the touch screen. To this uh, PC are connected to equipment such as printers, it could be also pump terminals, discount card readers uh, and UI. Uh, in the startup, UI was written uh, fully on Python uh, and uh, it was like, uh, not, not pretty, not pretty. Uh, but uh, as I noticed it, uh, that uh, in uh, Epicenter we have uh, the same equipment, uh, they use uh, they change uh, Python UI to, uh, I don't know, uh, to Angular, I think. It's like a web box and uh, web application, and now uh, most uh, uh, user communication, user experience goes through uh, web interface, and it's uh, much easier to change, much easier to prettify or even add some uh, marketing. Uh, in user interface, as I said previously, we can use Python, React, Angular, and then no matter. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm not a good drawer in diagrams. Uh, I, I tried, I tried. Uh, uh, as I said previously, uh, we have a uh, bank terminal. Bank terminal could be a uh, library, could be uh, written by C, C, Java. It's the best solution if we have a library, but a lot of developers or uh, country regulations, if you use, they could say, sorry, guy, our API with one terminal, uh, terminal are uh, forbidden. Uh, please, you have uh, application, use this application. In this uh, situation, when we use uh, applications that uh, could be read, uh, written in any language for any platform, Python could just uh, run pipeline or communicate with uh, some Docker container and uh, run uh, uh, things sequence, no matter uh, which we use, uh, which language or which operating system we use, or even uh, which uh, packages for the package for communication provided to us from uh, bank. Uh, like example uh, about bank terminal, it was uh, really fun. I was in Kuwait, Kuwait, it's Middle East, and uh, when a time to pray uh, uh, came. All bank terminals in whole country just shut out, shut down, and you cannot any pay or uh, it's just shut down and, and, and that's all. And in each country, for example, like uh, in each country, we have different regulations. And uh, in 
uh, it's much easier to create some uh, scripting uh, for these regulations and use uh, C, C++ or uh, other com compiled uh, languages. Okay, printer. Uh, printers we use for, uh, we need print, uh, recite, uh, task, tax registration, or smart recite. If, if you don't know, uh, smart recite, uh, this recite uh, that you go uh, get on your smartphone. Uh, tax registration, uh, registrators, um, this is a um, printer which uh, print your recite. And in this moment when you uh, recite printing, uh, your um, uh, customs, uh, government customs, got uh, copy of this uh, tax receipt to uh, centralize the database. In Ukraine, we use also the system. Okay, uh, as I say previously, let's go to uh, this section. As I uh, say previously, uh, for communication is our, our uh, in background we use Python with microservice that was uh, written on Plus or Falcon, no matter. Really just micro uh, system for other purposes. For UI, we could use or Python or React or Angular or newer versions. UJS is cost uh, also no, no problem. Uh, and uh, other uh, front, uh, front end, we communicate with our backend system to two different computer communicate uh, one which is type uh, which uh, between uh, using uh, packets uh, and uh, in, uh, this uh, help us to uh, prevent any uh, problems with uh, IP uh, or other networking issues which could uh, appear. Okay, let's go now. Okay. Black box, <laughs> sorry, but uh, probably I explained it in the uh, previous slide uh, and um, here I will explain you as fast as uh, possible. Uh, black box, as I said previously, it's uh, our main uh, personal computer that installed inside the uh, cashier device in our uh, self-checkout system. Uh, uh, main purpose of this computer is to uh, manage all networking, what we need, and manage equipment such as scales, uh, no matter which libraries uh, we have. Uh, scales is a device when you uh, uh, scan your goods and you hear from uh, speakers, please space it on the uh, packing area. You know, this. Uh, if you ever use uh, check out, uh, self checkout system. Okay, uh, what interesting. Uh, crane uh, and crane co uh, coin. This is um, cash recycle and coin recycle from uh, BNR company. Uh, uh, what interesting was with this uh, company? Uh, this equipment you could see in epicenter. Uh, uh, I was the first guy in Ukraine who got the certification for using and programming these devices. And what interesting was uh, they provide uh, for us library. Library was written on uh, CC++, but a few engineers before me uh, stuck in a, a simple problem. The device just could not turn in or turn off. And when I uh, try to disassemble this library, or when I even read the documentation, everything uh, must work, but it wouldn't. Uh, what interesting uh, uh, programmers, guys who program this uh, device and create library, uh, they uh, create a Boolean type using not one byte, but two bytes of information. And that's why when we connect the uh, library to our uh, system, uh, this library just didn't work at all. And when uh, uh, pro uh, programmer with the 
documentation, this, their internal documentation arrived, he found that uh, the documentation available to uh, to integrations uh, to integration system and to maintainers it's slightly different. Uh, this is example of how hard to connect uh, different equipment. Okay, uh, let's go to next. Uh, crane equipment is really good, but it's uh, really old equipment, uh, but it's popular in uh, European Union. Glory. Uh, glory equipment really expensive, uh, but it communicates using uh, classical uh, via web interface. Uh, we don't know what's happening inside their brain, but you have just a uh, plug network cable and say uh, directly, I want to get money or I want to dispense money. It's easier. GSM. Uh, GSM, uh, this is a company from Fujitsu Siemens. Uh, you can see this equipment uh, in any water dispenser. In any water dispenser, in any uh, let's say um, equipment from um, uh, from easy pay you know when you uh, want to fill your phone on street you just came to a device uh, take uh, your operator and uh, feed money GSM uh, this is just simple uh, money dis dispenser okay uh, let's go to next uh, when where uh, we could uh, see this equipment? Yeah, it was installed in Mariupol uh, in uh, Zerkali Mall. For now, as you know, Mariupol was fully destroyed, and I think this equipment also died somewhere uh, there in a uh, lot of garbage. But uh, for uh, well, it was. Uh, when he, uh, yeah, it was uh, six or seven years ago. Uh, it was just uh, a wall attack because nobody in Ukraine uh, never see uh, such devices. It was just uh, re really new and really interesting. On this picture, uh, you see a device which was installed in. Uh, in Kuwait, in Kuwait City, uh, main problem uh, even <laughs> with Python, uh, we have a um, problem with L uh, LTR. LTR, this is a uh, mean um, the direction of text. We have a uh, text for, uh, for a classical uh, Cyrillic language, Latin language, but for Arabic language, uh, it was really hard and we change something uh, inside the code to uh, start working with these letters. Uh, it was really, really hard. Okay, uh, I added to this presentation when we, uh, where we could uh, see more information about the devices or uh, that, uh, or uh, which company uh, used it. Uh, I think after presentation you could download it uh, and look at it. And uh, what's interesting in the uh, left side uh, we could see postmats. Postmats. Uh, this is equipment uh, then uh, that uh, now used by Nova Post, by Mist Express uh, deliveries uh, uh, by a um, lot of companies. And in the ground, in effect, we have a UI interface that uh, was we created uh, the same UI interface, uh, the same uh, source code uh, on the ground, uh, the same terminals, bank terminals, but only one difference that uh, your goods, uh, it's just number of your uh, uh, storage box and that's all. So let's go. Why Python? Uh, why we use Python here? Python works with spread compiler libraries, to be C, C++, Go, no matter. Uh, Python works with compiler software uh, that I said previously could be just uh, executable, any executable without uh, 
available source code. Python code uh, could be easily changed to any client proposed. Uh, if we need uh, some code protection from uh, filling our uh, program, we could, we could use obfuscation methods or if we want to use uh, some uh, precompiler methodic, we could use Cyton. It also could help us to uh, increase our speed or uh, make our uh, final source code unavailable to, to economical uh, crowd, etc. Uh, also, Python is really good for uh, integration to to anything. We could create uh, for one client. We could integrate to uh, let's say to Azure uh, equipment. Other client uh, want to use MySQL, Postgre, but uh, anything, or even in uh, custom databases. Uh, Python also could use any type of protocols for uh, our equipment, and it's, uh, it's really uh, useful uh, uh, for fast development. Okay. Uh, next up top is mushroom picking robot. Uh, yeah, it's uh, probably uh, sounds funny. But uh, we have a uh, really um, a big market with mushrooms. Uh, main problem with uh, mushrooms uh, that they grow really fast. And uh, for uh, this mushroom, what we have inside uh, our farms, mushroom farms, and what we go, uh, get on the market, uh, let's say the staff who uh, gather these uh, mushrooms. Uh, must um, uh, calculate, not, not calculate, calculate in their brain uh, which size of this mushroom uh, to which uh, so, uh, type of uh, package it must, must be packaged. And uh, uh, this job is really, uh, really hard because when you start gathering mushroom, you go through this uh, line. Uh, Mm, you could, uh, if you have task uh, gather a mushroom with a uh, diameter of half, uh, five uh, centimeters, uh, it could be uh, when you go from beginning to the end of line, this mushroom could uh, grow up. And uh, if your task is to gather five, uh, if you gather four centimeters or six centimeters, is just go to garbage or uh, is the go to like to hot dogs, to pizza, whatever you want. Uh, but the uh, main advantage of robot, if operator say I need uh, mushroom with exact size, robot we, uh, will gather you exact size of this mushroom head. And robot could uh, work uh, no matter uh, which time of uh, which time uh, could be. 24 hours per day working without uh, any uh, vacations. Uh, this was the main goal uh, for this project. And uh, this project was uh, written using ROS ecosystem, Robotic OS. Uh, it's a, a really interesting uh, system that mostly uh, used for creating uh, robots. Uh, but uh, what main reason of using this purpose? Uh, we could use Python, we could use C, C++, uh, uh, Java, no matter, any, any language. Also, we could uh, add here uh, such system like uh, machine learning. We could uh, add here uh, uh, point cloud uh, recognition, etc. And uh, uh, in the same uh, in the same par parallel system, we have machine learning, networking. It could, it could be also everything. Just uh, uh, grab all our system in one box and uh, work with this. Uh, okay. Uh, in the end, I will present you video how this uh, robot work. 
Do you see my window? Yeah. Yeah, let's try. I will comment slightly. Uh, a mail system scan uh, working area found uh, mushrooms that we need. Then uh, picking system start. Uh, pick mushroom and uh, cut uh, leg for, uh, and you got beautiful, uh, unique mushrooms. Okay. Okay, let, uh, 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 let's return to our presentation. Oh my, where, 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 it is where it is. Ah, I found Sure. Okay, let's go. Uh, as I say previously, uh, in this uh, robot use, uh, robot operation system, ROS, you could uh, easily find it in, in internet what it is. Uh, it is a set of software libraries and tools that help you build robots, its main purpose. And uh, robotic uh, OS or uh, robot operation system is really useful uh, system for any kind of automatization when you've got project for automatization, no matter what you want uh, uh, to use. Uh, communication between different modules. Uh, is similar like using MQTT protocol, uh, similar protocol, but it uh, uh, use it inside uh, uh, this ecosystem. Okay, architecture was uh, really, really interesting. Uh, we have uh, on board uh, computer, it was Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, to Raspberry Pi, it was connected to uh, G-Code controller or, or drive controller in newer version. G-Code, um, you can see in any uh, 3D printer uh, equipment. Classical 3D printer, plastic. Uh, it use, uh, is printed by G-Code controller. G-Code is uh, uh, language for uh, machines. Or drive in the, uh, in the same time. It's, um, uh, opponent, let's say, for this uh, system. Uh, it to use not stepper motor, but BLDC motors. It's much faster, but uh, it work using uh, their own uh, uh, language format and uh, con uh, connected using the uh, like serial bus uh, and communication protocol is near to UR. Okay, Arduino. Arduino, it's simple. You connect it using USB or UART, and the main purpose is just uh, rotate motor switch on switch off any additional uh, system. Okay, uh, video sensor. Uh, video sensor it was uh, uh, Intel real sense ca uh, camera. Uh, this camera uh, could uh, help you uh, with uh, stereo um, uh, stereo image uh, and uh, uh, in, in this case we have a lot of uh, different sensors inside this camera we could create a point cloud to monitor what we have on our working table uh, to uh, to understand what's happened with our mushrooms. <laughs> okay. 
uh, RPI, uh, Raspberry Pi, in the beginning of our development, uh, work like just work like a central uh, computer for robots, but uh, we found that uh, this problem with uh, communication. If our robot uh, working on real farm, uh, it could be uh, some problem with speed, uh, some problem with uh, interference from uh, our uh, shelves uh, or other metal parts. That's why we use additional uh, microtic rotor. Uh, this microtic rotor could be programmed as you prefer. It could be used like uh, rotor uh, L2, L3 level or uh, Wi-Fi client or even access point. And uh, all communication with uh, human was provided by Microtic via wireless networking. What interesting also, Microtic held inside uh, build, uh, build in uh, the, uh, their own language, uh, something similar to Cisco language, and uh, API using uh, some primitive uh, Python script could change uh, some parameters uh, of this uh, equipment. Okay, let's go to next. Uh, ah, uh, as I say previously, uh, in ROS we use different architectures. We use uh, G-code, uh, we use O-Drive uh, system, we use wireless controllers, we use Arduino, etc. But uh, most of our models was uh, written by Python. If uh, somebody, oh, I, one moment, I will check some somebody. Ah, uh, guys, I also check uh, chat. If you want to ask some something, you can type in chat, uh, and I will. Uh, answer immediately uh, in any of your questions. Okay, let's go next. Uh, Alexey, we have a question from Bogdan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have like one small question. So like the last point, like was it like hardware project or it was about software? So you can like download all the press settings and use it for different type of equipment or it was the hardware so you like it was built like for use for specific camera and all go in one box i don't know uh, if we uh, speak about uh, interface about camera and uh, our part of code camera uh, uh, in real sense uh, has its own uh, api we just use it we communicate with camera and get image or other uh, data from sensor but uh, if uh, uh, but our software uh, so let's say our model uh, was written on python and we just uh, get our uh, packages uh, format it as we want transfer it to uh, cv library cv library analyze it and return some uh, data to us Yeah, got it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to next uh, startup project. Uh, it's re uh, it was re a really fun project. Uh, it was project for Sauga. Yeah, uh, imagine that uh, it was even for me it was uh, discovering that uh, uh, exist market of uh, sauna and sauna equipment. In this project, uh, what uh, was interesting? In effect, uh, we have one uh, single board computer with one touch screen. And the uh, purpose of this computer was on uh, front side. Uh, on user interface to, con uh, to uh, configure sauna, to configure a playlist, uh, music playlist uh, for relaxation, to configure uh, ambience, light, uh, temperature, everything. Uh, human, uh, let's say, a uh, customer who, who uses sauna. 
just uh, click uh, everything on screen and go uh, to relax. In background, in the same way, this computer uh, control heaters, control lighting, control sound system, control uh, connection between uh, uh, between uh, cloud uh, ecosystem uh, for downloading music playlist or even uh, send some data to your uh, phone. Okay, uh, in, in this project, uh, it was slightly different because um, uh, we, uh, in classical, uh, most developers take Raspberry Pi because it's cheap and uh, it's available. But the uh, problem with Raspberry Pi is that we have uh, limited resources like uh, core, uh, number of core, and the uh, amount of uh, our memory that's available for us. And in some uh, situation, we need uh, fast uh, access to uh, our hard drive, in uh, Raspberry Pi, it's quite uh, hard to uh, do this because, uh, first of all, Raspberry Pi was uh, contracted to use SD cards. Uh, you could change uh, firmware and use USB to uh, to serial app interface, etc. But it's uh, really, let's say, it's bad practice uh, in the uh, in industry. Uh, that's why client uh, decide to use uh, such uh, system like Toradex. Toradex is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, RPI, uh, but in uh, premium class. Uh, developer could create your uh, board uh, with, uh, as you want with any uh, hardware uh, as you want, uh, plus additionally for this board uh, it will be created custom Linux uh, that uh, known like Torizon, good support, etc. In uh, this uh, example on the sauna we use uh, 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 we use 32 gigabytes of RAM and use uh, eight core uh, RM um, drive. Also, um, our RM CPU uh, was with uh, hardware uh, video decoders, hardware audio decoders, and just attach it, attach your screen, uh, your hard drive, and to work. It's much easier and faster. Okay. Uh, how it uh, work on the ground on let's say on our computer? Our computer it uh, work under Torizon OS. It's uh, customized Linux. Uh, Torizon ecosystem provides uh, for us OTG. Uh, uh, provide us update over the air tail, uh, remote control, management, fault control, everything uh, already installed on this. Uh, system uh, from uh, from uh, say software developer. Uh, our main goal was to create uh, Python, let's say core that uh, communicate with Re React uh, user interface or Kotlin application uh, on mobile phone. Uh, some uh, uh, Java connectors uh, for uh, communicate with uh, keepers uh, and other uh, small stuff like light controller, sound system, etc. And our uh, Python core also uh, communicate with uh, AWC uh, cloud. It's easy, uh, sound as easy, but it was uh, like tricky with a different communication and also different la language how to communicate uh, one with each other. Okay, let's go to next. What we have? Uh, open source and stuff. Uh, also, uh, a lot of startups 
uh, use open source abilities. And uh, after some times, uh, after some uh, let's say creation of uh, proof of concept, uh, startups uh, modify uh, trying to modify this open source uh, utilities uh, as they prefer. The easiest way uh, is use uh, open source utility uh, that was created by Python because you have source code, uh, just uh, look and manipulate as you want. Uh, and uh, open, your, uh, open source, it uh, helps you to uh, save money on the beginning to save money uh, from, from anything because uh, for startup it's main uh, goal to save money on the beginning as much as possible because they need invest investments okay let's go uh, exist uh, system open hub uh, it's RPI based software mostly written on Python. It uses it for uh, like like, uh, like home assistant for your all your IoT uh, devices. What you have could be uh, light bulbs, could be smart uh, switchers, smart sockets, uh, even your uh, Samsung TV or Apple TV set uh, no matter uh, all this stuff like help connect connected to uh, this software and uh, the software uh, the open source and this startup uh, main idea was to create security uh, system based on this uh, software okay uh, next problem was okay. We have open source. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we have open source uh, software uh, for our IoT uh, IoT hub. And uh, next problem: how to uh, create the um, personal area for user or uh, for um, uh, customers to monitor their uh, security sensor. Uh, it could be uh, in some moment it could be easy uh, to create your own ecosystem, but uh, in practice in startup it's really uh, they have no money for it. That's why client decide to use uh, Odoo. Odoo. Do. Yeah, I, don't, uh, I can't remember realize in my memory how it's pronounced. Uh, for uh, this uh, CRM uh, was written also uh, on Python and it could be uh, easy to change it. And the uh, main idea was to connect this uh, device with open source uh, code to Odoo system. Uh, what client want? Client is uh, security companies that create uh, sensors. Every sensor uh, uh, have some API and software that was written on C++. Open hub in uh, open hub uh, device that installed on the client side collect all data and uh, all data using uh, middleware MQTT server. Uh, uh, transfer to cloud. Uh, for beginning, uh, customers think about 100 uh, uh, devices uh, in uh, in uh, one of the United States uh, states. I could, could be uh, even California. I, I cannot uh, revise in my memory. It was uh, really long ago. Uh, and uh, connect it all together. Uh, and uh, what Udo could provide us? So, uh, Udo provide us admin, uh, admin user interfaces. It could provide us uh, some uh, 
uh, uh, let's say graphical interface, uh, just user interface. MQTT control, we could skip this other equipment with MQTT, and real time monitor, uh, monitoring of our device because um, our device, uh, yeah, if we have uh, downtime more than 30 seconds, it uh, will call police immediately to arrive to the location. Uh, <clears throat> what op open source provide for us? Uh, we take open source. But uh, for this purpose, we must fully redesign user interface. Uh, we must add MQTT because uh, there was no MQTT interface at all in this uh, system. And uh, integrate the customer sensor, uh, the customer tree. Because Open Hub uh, have no any idea in mean, the team from Open Hub uh, about existing to the uh, sensors. In this uh, purpose, uh, open source uh, uh, software that was written on Python and Odoo system that was written on Python, exact uh, work uh, which has been really, really fast and it was re really easy to create this uh, startup uh, for, for from scratch. Uh, it takes three months. Okay, let's go uh, to next. This is a photo of my coffee machine. <laughs> because uh, I see, uh, I thought uh, on the beginning presentation just uh, tell the story about uh, coffee machine, but I found on the internet uh, a video presentation uh, from uh, developer. What interesting in this uh, project? It's project uh, known as Morning Coffee. Uh, the, the on device, if we uh, speak uh, on device, it's a standalone device. Uh, this device could connect to your uh, phone. Uh, on your phone uh, application, you could uh, change some configuration or change your site for uh, for your coffee, what you want to, to brew. Uh, you could uh, even order uh, coffee for, for your site and the, the, the deliver guy will uh, deliver soon different uh, sorts of coffee. Personal sites, mobile control and synchronization. Uh, and uh, a cloud-based market also. Uh, main problem of this project was that um, it was uh, created on uh, on the beginning. It was project for uh, Singapore, but Singapore on some uh, on 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 moment when startup start, they uh, use uh, developer from India. And uh, they try to uh, create as cheaper as possible. And when this project uh, came to me, it was uh, really in a bad situation. Because uh, in one moment uh, of this ecosystem, we have uh, equipment that uh, work on C, C++. We have lambdas on Python. We have... Uh, front end on the client website that was written on uh, Java. We have, let's say, a strange uh, zoo of technologies, and uh, this uh, zoo must be uh, prettified and fixed. What interesting, uh, some uh, parts of uh, personal area, uh, area in uh, client market even work uh, was written or using the uh, WordPress PHP language WordPress uh, you can uh, imagine what, what it was and uh, on this example uh, I want to show you that uh, uh, when you start on working on your uh, startup, no matter which is startup or if, if it's a uh, proof of concept, try to uh, think uh, for future. 
if you uh, if start up files and you got money funding etc how easy or how fast you can uh, you can fix or uh, grow your application okay let's go next uh, technology of this copy machine and uh, what we have uh, on the ground coffee machine it uh, was uh, built using two different uh, microcontrollers. Uh, it was microcontroller uh, STM uh, that uh, control heaters, temperature, uh, brain pro uh, process. Uh, we have uh, ESP32, which controls your UI and uh, network connectivity. Everything connects to uh, using wireless to AWS. On WS uh, also host uh, your personal area, your equipment, your uh, account, and everything. From a mobile phone, even if you have no any uh, account, you could, uh, could manipulate your coffee machine using Bluetooth and simple application uh, for uh, this. But uh, the main idea was to install this copy machine in uh, uh, in office centers. I mean, one copy machine, you just came, uh, scan this machine, press uh, your favorite uh, uh, site, and got your favorite copy. Uh, it could be hundreds of users with their own uh, uh, recites, their own configuration. Coffee machine uh, could work with any uh, user without uh, uh, any problem. Okay, uh, now I will switch to YouTube and I will show you how it uh, looks like in real life. Uh, one moment, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found it on the internet, also in reels. Sorry, let's look how it works. It's um, if we look uh, as, as we as we see in this video, it was uh, really fast and easy. Uh, for a user, but in effect, um, it was huge work on the ground to modify, to fix it, and to make it better than it was. Okay, let's go. Next, uh, our favorite drone system. Alexei, uh, okay. I'm sorry. We're a bit uh, out of time, and uh, if it's not uh, take too much time, this project, we can uh talk about it and then finish okay uh, let's uh, look but uh, i know drone it's interesting topic <laughs> uh, let's move to the end uh i say uh, it um, this project from my companions uh and uh, i think uh, you see these robots in uh, video a lot of time no matter it was youtube it was uh, facebook you see this robot, so this robot, sorry, uh, and uh, everybody say, oh, robot, it was made in China. Now, guys, this robot was made in Lviv, and uh, this robot main purpose, uh, cleaning big malls, uh, big office centers, is just cleaning. Cleaning machine, fully automatic, uh, the guys start from their own money, a lot of technologies, a lot of different languages was used to create this machine. But uh, I proud to say that I also consulted uh, and cooperate with, with these guys. Uh, and my last video, I want for, for the end show you this robot. And uh, you can say for uh, for everyone, guys, look what was created in Ukraine. Ah, this one. Uh, 
uh, robot with uh, robo hand uh, with computer vision uh, with vacuum system with water uh, everything what you want and uh, this was a startup from USA but everything was created in Lviv. Now in this project work uh, more than uh, 19 developers. Developers, engineers, uh, okay, let it be, that's all. Uh, guys, uh, if you uh, if you interesting, I could uh, also create uh, presentation for a lot of startup projects and it could be uh, interesting but as as you notice uh, it takes a lot of time to uh, oh sorry ah, ah. it takes a lot of time uh, to describe each project and uh, each project is really really interesting and uh, I could tell a lot about it 